Good morning, everyone. We have the new Target exclusive Mythical Squishy Premium Collection Box. These names just keep on getting longer, it feels like. So nothing too insane about this box. It does retail for $50, so I'll give you guys a disclaimer up front. If you do not find this on sale or anything, $50 is a little steep, unless you do want the little figures. You get eight booster packs, three cards, which are not promo cards, they are just reprints from sets, and a Mew, Victini, and Celebi squishy figure, which is the primary reason why people will buy this. If you're not too interested in the squishy, squishy stuff, then don't worry about picking this up. There are plenty of other products you can get. This is going to be, I believe, a Black Friday product. So you should be able to find it, I'd imagine, in stores and in uh, online for Target. However, I am not sure if it is going to be on sale for Black Friday or if it's just a new product. So keep that in mind. I'm going to take all of our stuff out. There's not... Too many things. So I will first show you guys the Celebi, which is from Sword and Shield. We got a code card. I will be keeping that one, but all of the packs on the inside I'll give away. Victini V, also from Sword and Shield 25. And Mew is from Darkness Ablaze. Number 69 out of 189. Mew V. Not sure if I need any of those cards still, but let me readjust the camera for you guys. We will now get into the booster packs. Actually not. We got these squishy guys. So these are very, very interesting. They could be could be used as a, a stress ball. Definitely. They uh, feel very cheap, but I don't know what else you'd expect. We got a Mew. Not sure if it's going to stand up there. Then a Victini. And a Selby. So you got the three mythical Pokemon from the first three generations. That is going to be the main appeal of this box. And now, one Evolving Skies Battle Styles. Vivid Voltage, a Rubble Clash, another Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and Vivid. So, I'm going to completely mix up these packs. And we will just open them up in whatever order I put them in. Evolving Skies first here. Of course, each of these sets, I do have multiple cards still needed. Very difficult to complete a full set with by just opening up booster packs. I should start buying singles in the future. We got a energy card, Dream Ball, Boulder, Smoky Mountains, that's a good trainer card, Emolga, a Wubat, Glossiflor, Feebas, Hippopotas, Timpole, Reverse Hollow, and a Full Apple, non hollow rare. Alrighty, looks like our next two are actually battle styles. If I can open it up. It does not want to open. Hopefully we do get some good cards from this box. It'll make the $50 spent a little bit, a little bit easier on my mind. Let's see. Fighting Energy. Sword Ward and Shieldbert. Crawdunt, Dewblade, Roly Coley, Esper, Shinx, Blipbug, Ponyard, A Sizzlepeed Reverse Hollow, Galarian Slowpoke for our rare. And all in Polion artwork here. There we go, this one opened up a lot easier. Hopefully this one has something. Lightning Energy. Pignite. 
Dottler, a level ball, Silicabra, Lickitung, Horsey, Mankey, Mawile Single Strike, a Karina's Fo Focus, Reverse Hollow, and another non hollow rare Aegislash. Alright, Chilling Rain. Only one Chilling Rain in this box. Let's see if it'll give us anything. Next code card. Alrighty. I'm going to call Darkness Energy. And we got a Fire. Welcoming Lantern. A Reboot. Agatha. Kaboo. Inkay. A Diglett. Score Bunny. Shuppet. Snorunt Reverse Hollow. And a Hollow. Tapu Fini. Actually, a card I do need for the binder. However, it is just a Hollow. We are now halfway through this box. There is the next code card. A vivid Voltage, so we do have a possibility of getting a Charizard, Pikachu, or Amazing Rare, so lots of possibilities. We got a Duat, Aromatic Energy, Heroes Metal, Trubbish, Shuppet, Chudle, Riolu, Eevee. Seems like they've been printing so many Eevee cards. It's in like every set now. Hit them on top. And a Jolteon. Non hollow rare. Rebel Clash. Don't open this up too often now. Booster boxes jumped pretty quickly this year. They uh, honestly were pretty close to $200 for a while. Should be able to find them for less than that, though. We'll see if they end up reprinting those, too. We got ourselves the Energy. Tranquil. Horror Energy. A Heatmore. Honage. Litwick. Galarian Corsola. A little off-center of these cards. Binacle. Scyther. Ooh, a Chandler. Rare Reverse Hollow. And a Malamar V. So, we finally did get a hit. Honestly, have... No idea if that card is still needed for my binder or not. I haven't looked at the Rebel Clash binder in a while. Our last Evolving Skies pack here. Evolving Skies has some amazing pull rates, so hopefully we can get something. Maybe an alternate art, that would be amazing. Tentacruel, a Boulder, a Roma Lady, Rufflet, Rog and Rolla. Wobbuffet, Hopip, Swablu, Treasure Energy for the Reverse Hollow, and a Dialga. So we did get a Hollow. We've gotten two Hollows now, but let's see if Zerud can give us anything good. I would even take a Charizard non Hollow Rare if I'm being honest. Last pack. Can also get. Yeah, there's tons of tons of stuff to get from Vivid Voltage. We got a Mightyena here for our last pack. Per Churchin, Loudred, a Trubbish, Tynamo, Clobopus, Wubat, Talo, uh, Toucan, Toucanon for our Reverse Hollow, and our Rare is a Non-Hollow Mudstale. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. We did get at least one Ultra Rare pull, but it was just a regular Malamar V from Rebel Clash. So, like I said, if you want to get it for the figures, these little squishy guys, go ahead and get it. Otherwise, I would pass on this product. Until next time, guys, I'll see you.